Hello everyone. This is Seda Javeria Afreen. I recently got placed at Infosys as a system engineer. Firstly, I would like to congratulate everyone who have cleared their online uh, Infosys assessment test, which was conducted on 24th of January. So congratulations, everyone. Now, 80% of your job is done by clearing your online test. 20% depends on your interview. That is your communication and behavioral skills, your technical knowledge, and the most important question, that is your self-introduction. Tell me about yourself. So in this video, I'll share how I answered my self-introduction in the Infosys interview, and I'll also share my resume, which got me into Infosys. So let's start. So this is a basic structure which I used to answer my uh, self-introduction question in the Infosys interview. So the first thing I started by my uh, name, then followed by my qualifications, then the skills, my projects and my hobbies. And this is the most important question, like how are you fit for this job? By answering this question, the, uh, it will show the interviewer that how compassionate and enthusiastic you are to avail this job. So I started by telling my name, that is, hi, good morning, hope you're doing well. My name is Saida Javeria Afreen. I'm from Bangalore. Next, I stated my qualifications. That is, I'm a Bachelor of Engineering graduate specialized in the field of computer science and engineering with an overall CGPA of 7.43. Then I told about my skills and uh, accomplishments. Like uh, along with my degree, I have completed a full stack development course, which includes Java, Python, SQL, web designing and development technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Angular. You can also explain, uh, like tell about your soft skills here. Like during my final year of engineering, during my project, I discovered that I'm a team player. I'm a quick learner with a positive attitude. After that, you can talk about your project. Two to three lines is sufficient here in tell me about yourself question. Like I answered, during my final year of engineering, I developed a machine learning project that titled Underwater Object Detection System using machine learning and image detection or technologies uh, called YOLO and SSD. That is uh, your look once and the single shot detector algorithms. These are machine learning algorithms for detection of images in the underwater system. So this was my answer. And for this, I answered like, currently I'm looking for a, a reputed firm or a company where I can leverage my skills and have a good career growth and also significantly contribute to the success of the company. Thank you. So this was my uh, answer. So, uh, uh, Act like this is just a conversation between you and the interviewer. Don't get nervous and just be confident and uh, use enthusiasm to convey your passion. Like don't act like a robot, like I am, my name is this and this, I'm from Bangalore. Yeah, don't act like that. Use some excitement or enthusiasm to show your, that you're interested in availing this job. So yeah, this was my um, answer. The next thing is the most important thing is the questions which must be asked in the end of the interview. So make sure after your interview, you ask at least one or two questions to the interviewer. So in my interview, I asked him like since when you are working for uh, Infosys. So he told he's working from 17 years. So it is really a long period. So I asked him how Infosys motivates their employees to work for them for such a long period and like, you know, uh, how does, how he mot he gets motivated to work here? So this was my question. You can also uh, ask uh, questions like how Infosys is handling or tackling the pandemic uh, situation, how it uh, is, uh, I mean, it is helping employees to work remotely. So this might be your, uh, you know, the questions. So make sure at least you ask one or two questions for the interviewer. So after this, I'll share my resume. Okay. So this was my resume. So uh, make sure that you add only one page 
to your resume but if you have some relevant information which is important to be added in your resume you can just go ahead and add one page to uh, make it clean and uh, clear and specific so if you are adding some information to just uh, uh, add on some pages so don't do that your resume might suffer so this was my uh, resume this is my name i added my uh, picture then from uh, the address the just the city you can add your uh, phone number your email id you can also add your uh, social media uh, platforms links profiles that is uh, i added my uh, linkedin profile here i added my portfolio which i had uh, hosted i mean uh, made using the web designing and development technologies during my course full stack development course i added that link here and so that uh, they can click here and uh, my portfolio would be visible to them so this is my github profile so add all the social media skills at the top and you can uh, add some uh, two to three lines about yourself like the be specific here in the resume that i have i am proficient in uh, full stack development technologies and this is the same uh, thing i answered in the like how you are fit in the company for the uh, job so this was my uh, skill section technical skill section um, make sure you add all the skills which you are you know in and around about that like don't add if you have watched just one hour video uh, of python that uh, which clears the basics of python and uh, you are just adding that skill so in the interview if they ask some advanced questions so you would not be able to answer that so don't do that just in which are you in which you are proficient and uh, skilled you add those skills some if if there are no skills to add here in your skill section like uh, it doesn't matter because many companies are ready to train you on uh, some skills so make sure you would be uh, very uh, like skilled and proficient in at least one programming language be, be it java python and .net c and c++ and uh, some web designing and development technologies uh, html css and one database that is sql that will be i think more than sufficient so after that many companies would love to train you on some skills so here i had also added uh, uh, some soft skills like discipline and quick learner uh, manual testing microsoft office python and with the django framework so these were my skills so in the education section uh, make sure you add uh, the latest uh, qualification at the top so first add your uh, be that is uh, your engineering or bachelor of in technology btech and then your puc or uh, the secondary education and then um, add your uh, sslc so this was my uh, education and then add about your projects so projects plays a very important role you might have done uh, many many projects in your semesters so this is the time you can add them here um make sure you know about this project in and around about is uh, your project so after uh, uh, like naming your project make sure you highlight the technologies which were used in the uh, project and some two or three lines which describe about what is happening in the project so uh, while in your interview your interviewer will look into your resume and he might ask questions related to your uh, projects so what was the cause uh, why, why did you choose this project which technologies were used if you have written here python he may ask you some questions about python so if you mention the technologies if you mention the project make sure you are you know about it don't just uh, like add some project so these were my some of my projects personal blog yeah and this where my web designing uh, uh, this was my project uh, and this is a uh, python and using front end uh, technologies and the major project was uh, the underwater object detection which i mentioned in my uh, self introduction so add projects with the technologies and some 
two or three lines which describe about the project so this if you have links or if you have hosted somewhere your projects you can also mention those links here so that the interviewer can view it by clicking so it will create a like he has done something it will create an impression on the interviewer so also mention the period in which so also in the internship and courses i have mentioned the periods in which time or date i have done these or that courses so it will tell the interviewer that uh, you were committed and uh, developed a sense of professionalism uh, in your early life so after that you can mention about your uh, internships and courses i have done a full stack development or uh, trainee i mean full stack development course from codenest it was really a good course uh, with you know i learned java so i had also learned in my uh, degree but this was an add on like to revise and to like uh, leverage my skills here software testing front end technologies data structure data structure is also very important for placements and then these were some uh, like internships and courses i had this was my internship where aerobotica services so you can also add your achievements here like you can add the uh, coding context your lead code and code force stars and your coding um, you know exam scores contest scores your paper presentation which you had done with your faculty or some yeah you can add your achievements here so the important thing about your resume would be be honest Uh, with your resume don't lie like um, you know honesty uh, no company will compromise with honesty if you know you know you add that if you don't know it's okay whatever you know you add that and present it so in the interview if you get caught about some uh, unnecessary uh, you know the the skills which you don't know if questions arise from that skill So you'd be in trouble. So don't do that. Just add skills which you know, and don't add your uh, religious affiliations or uh, date of birth and all that. It will just acquire unnecessary information, unnecessary space in the resume. Yeah. So resume must be a reflecting image of yourself. so the first thing the uh, interview will look into is your resume if you enter the interview so make sure it should be a clean clear and uh, specific yeah so uh, these were uh, some points so the tips are like be confident be specific uh, make clean clear uh, resume and uh, don't lie in your resume and uh, yeah that's it so i think you would be good to go and you would get a great job so wish you all the best good luck and yeah thank you